Chapter 18, verse 12. What bothers me here is the part at the end. A level of arrogance to demand you must conform to an individual's rules of what is manly, to insist, no doubt, no deviation. To me, if we accept humanity has free will, how can you reconcile God's gift with the insistence we must not deviate from a set pattern? SOF 1812 When a child stands on the threshold of manhood and his manly organs become active, he shall be made a man after the old custom. He shall be handed over the threshold stone and welcomed as in times past. But this shall be the new declaration. I know without doubt what I am. I am the seed of divinity implanted within a body of flesh. I belong with those who walk the great path of the true way, and my place is beside them. I am a man knowing manly ways, and I will do what is required of me as a man. Understand, I'm not saying I'm right either. It's wrong for anyone to ask for blind obedience. All of chapter 18 is fine as a handbook. I'm not saying choosing it as a goal for an individual is wrong. I understand humanity's flaws, the desire for certainty, and Earth is not a place of certainty. Humanity might, for a time, through force, subdue free will, but only focusing on what makes us alike while accepting the difference in each individual has a hope for harmony on Earth. It's not perfect, but I truly believe the key to understanding why we are here is that God gave us free will. Everything else is theater, and man's narcissistic belief that they alone can understand and lead the rest of us.